parents and students, uh, we have been just incredibly blessed this summer with Covecrest, with our mission trip, with the Eucharistic Congress that we're able to go to, uh, topping out at 120 kids on one of our summer nights, VBS, our sports camps with over 40 kids each and every week, a guitar camp that I was able to run. Uh, my wife and I had the privilege of doing the music at a pilgrimage in France where we got to go to Lourdes and Joan of Arc and do mass on the beach of Normandy. Uh, it was just incredible. We saw the zoo. Um, I was able to also host a youth conference in England this summer, which was amazing. And I got to be blessed by uh, Blessed Carlo, who's uh, just a beloved saint of the teens. And we're really excited uh, to dive into his life a little bit more, hoping for his canonization here soon. Uh, and then when I got home, was blessed by Maria Goretti. Uh, Father Anthony had a relic of Maria Goretti. So it's just been an extremely wonderful summer, jam-packed with all kinds of things for the kids and continuing to dive in their faith, but also allowing them just to relax and, and be uh, who they are called to be as, as children of God. Um, so what does all this mean? I see a church on fire right now, not only with the youth, but with our adults. Being at the Eucharistic Congress was such an amazing experience to really encounter that. 60,000 people. Uh, and we waited in line for two and a half hours just to get our credentials. And they, they didn't care. Nobody cared. We were just excited to be there for Jesus. There's hearts that are eager and they're ready to radically live differently uh, for Jesus. Um, there's broken teens and families. They're coming back to the church to pray. Uh, they're coming back uh, just to be in the loving arms of Jesus, back to the Eucharist. And so I can't wait to get kicked off this academic year, which is right around the corner. Uh, right now we're planning this weekend for a junior mentor retreat. We have like 38 uh, high school teens that have said yes to the Lord to be in leadership here at St. Timothy's. And we're just so blessed here. We have over 60 adult uh, mentors who are getting their training this weekend and also next week. And then we get kicked off with our parent meetings the following week. Um, and then finally our kickoff starts with our high school life team on September the 8th and then the 11th for our middle school students. So I'm just asking you for a couple things. I just need your prayers. We need your prayers. Our staff needs your prayers. Our teens need your prayers right now as we engage them in this uh, new theme that for the year, Sanctuary. And we're going to get into that a little bit more. Um, come and, and find out how you can get engaged. Please don't miss those parent meetings. They're going to be important. Not only that, but in those parent meetings, you'll have the opportunity to apply to our big trips in the summer. If not, uh, we have a timestamp that says who's applied when. If you weren't at those meetings, you may not make it on those trips. So uh, just make sure you're there at those meetings. And that's kind of the carrot to get you there, right? So. Um, I want you just to discover our plans this year and what we have in store. We're going to be changing things up a little bit, doing things a little bit differently in some ways. Uh, very excited about some of the new things that are on tap uh, with St. Timothy Youth Ministry. Also, if you have not registered yet, please do so. Register for Life Teen, register for Edge if you have a middle schooler, register for our youth rally. I'm giving out free tickets for our youth rally. If you haven't gotten that yet, uh, please be sure you do that. Um, we have a couple free ones, and then after that, it's going to be $15 per kid. Um, our diocese is pumped up. We're expecting about 350 plus kids to be at that. Also with the youth rally, I'm looking for donation supplies. During our youth rally, we're going to be making homeless bags. And so our parish is in charge of the actual bags, which I got that taken care of. But we need deodorant, 300 of them, and we also need 300 peanut butter crackers. The kids are going to fill these bags at the youth rally. And so anyway, you guys can come and bring those and donate them. There'll be information on the uh, email that I'm sending out now. Uh, also, just know here at St. Timothy's that you are known, you are seen, you are heard, and you are loved. Hopefully by us as much as we can, just to make sure that nobody falls through the cracks here when they walk through the doors, that we get to know you and we get to love on you. But know that Jesus Christ is always waiting there with open arms. He knows you. He sees you. He loves you wherever you're at, in your brokenness, and your joys, wherever you may be as a family. And he loves you. Um, we love you. Reach out if you need anything at all. We're here for you. We're here for our teens and uh, pray for us. Know that we are always praying for you guys. Have a blessed week. I know it's been crazy getting the kids in and out of school. I've been doing the same thing, uh, driving them back and forth. My two boys at TC, my daughter at Bay Hope, and it's just all over the place, Uber driving. But parents, take a deep breath and just trust in the Holy Spirit. And then maybe just say to yourself, Holy Spirit, come. 
Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. And just trust in the Lord. And I just pray for each and everybody that is each and every person out there uh, that is listening to this, that you feel the joy of the Lord, the peace of the Lord in these crazy times as we get this school year kicked off. And just allow us to dive deeper into your love, to receive that love, and, and to know that you are uh, on our side through thick and thin, through all the stress that you are there to help guide us through. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, you guys are the best. God bless.